who used to be very tough, panicking now for the first time. I saw that the power of the church was reigning. Because now, a bishop is holding him directly responsible and telling him in his face and deciding his fate. He told him, you will die in wilderness. Your grave will never be found among honorable Ugandans. When I look today, since that time, can you tell me whether Min's graveyard is here? Indeed, never. Let me come in back. In two years, <laughs> let me finish. <laughs> in the two years that was 16th of February 77, in February, February 79, was Amin not on the run? He was. Didn't that prophecy come true? It did come true. Doesn't that confirm that when we say something, we are speaking with authority from heaven, not our own concoctions? Because we don't have anything against anybody. We are supposed to call sin by its right name. We must not baptize sin with good names. When it comes to thieving, we call it misappropriation. We call it corruption. The real name in Ten Commandments, thou shalt not steal. Reverend, I'll not let you cross <laughs> to that side. Uh, let me just come back to uh, Canon here, mm. looking at today's theme as we celebrate the 47th commemoration mm. of martyrdom <coughs> of Archbishop Janan Rumu, the man we are discussing today. The theme is conf uh, conf confirming to the truth of God, conforming to the truth of God's word that transforms. Is God's word, let's just talk about this theme, is it still transforming lives even today? Well, yeah, the word of God is alive and powerful and sharper than any double-edged sword. Amen. It pierces <laughs> the dividing sand of soul and spirit no matter who is and all the joints and marrow mm -hmm. and is the one that discerns the intents and thoughts of the heart of man. Yes, the word of God is still very powerful. If it applies to you, if it applies to me, it has that effect. It transforms. There are many, many examples mm. who have been transformed. They would be thieves who have become saints and they are have still... Have we seen souls turn into Paul? Oh, yeah. Very In many. present day Uganda? Very many, very many, very many. And, uh, but the popular media now is not highlighting those testimonies. Mm. It's now popular culture is uh, grab it, name it, and possess it. And no, no, no. There are hearts and lives that are being transformed on a daily basis. Let's look at the message that the church is pushing out. Janan Rumu was known away from being developmental because also introduced so many development programs in the Church of Uganda. Mm -hmm. When you talk about uh, this recent building, me, I choose to call it Janan Rumu. It is. It building. is still called the Janani Room. Mm. Many call it, is it? There's mm. another name. Church there. House. Church House. Mm. I prefer. That was a vision mm. of Janani Room that the church must have some source of income in yes. one way or the other. But let's look at the gospel being preached today. Do we still see the gospel of condemning evil, condemning sin, or is it prosperity? You know, uh, give and it will be given back to you, shaken. Are we still, is the church still focusing on the core values emulating Janan Lumu? That's the challenge. We have, uh, I call them masqueraders, mm -hmm. for yep. gospel preachers, entertainers, mm -hmm. for ministers of the truth. And uh, for, they are quite good at marketing themselves instead of the truth. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the challenge. It's not just Uganda. It seems to be a global challenge. And Paul talked about it uh, when he was writing to Timothy, that a time will come when men will no longer yeah. be able to put up with sound doctrine. Yes. Instead, they will gather for themselves those who speak what their itching ears want to hear. Yeah. The, 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 the prosperity gospelers, the good health, the good wealth, th those are the things which now sell. Mm. But the truth of the gospel is still cutting. 
Mm. Yeah, the rugged gospel. Mm. Well, uh, I must hand you to Kitugum, where we have the main celebrations. Service has already started, but I want to thank you so much. Uh, Reverend uh, Canon uh, Geoffrey Biarugaba, provincial head of clergy, Church of Uganda. Thank, thank you, you so much thank for your you time. Very much. Uh, moving history, mm. uh, retired <laughs> Captain uh, Isaac Baka, who was in Idi Amin's army and serving. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. I'm eager to get a book that you have written. Uh, detailing all this because he was there when things were happening and i want to thank you so much for being part of us let's thank move you. now mm. to kitigum as we celebrate the 47th commemoration of the martyrdom of janan rumo thank, thank you, you very much <laughs> north karamoya presentation please may you very fast march in front here career and then uh, we have Janan. Can you just be already standing somewhere? It is only a matter of time to march and come. Just behind that tent, you get prepared there, and then you will have time to march and come. Karamojong. First of all, I am a Karamojong by birth. Bishop Kitara Wilson is a Karamojong by birth. Because I was born in Moroto Hospital. So by birth, I'm a Karamojong. That's why I want them to come. I can stop others, but I cannot stop them. Praise the Lord. I am a Munyoro by name, Kitara. By tribe, I'm actually. Praise the Lord. So the Karamojong are marching and coming, very looking beautiful. Go on your two, go on your two. You giving wool. Go on your two. To carry the Wagana, Nidia Yesu, Nidia Kapulun, Nidia Christo.
the fire, the fire place, so that when they say, we get to listen. Song. Thank you so much. Can you give? This is Janan Secondary School. After this, we are coming back here. Yes, this is Bombo. Janan Secondary School, uh, Bombo. Looks like they are waiting.
Hello. Uh, we would want to invite you for a celebration that will be on the 23rd of March when Janan schools as a community will still do the same at Bombo Secondary School. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Let's give a hand clap for the Lord for this beautiful performance. Students, Janani Loom, said Janani Loom, secondary school in Bombo. Thank you. Choir, may you lead us. That hymn on page 18, so that we receive the word from God through his servant, Right Reverend Paul Kipto Masaba. We shall all stand for that hymn on page 18. I thank all the presenters. Others will come with the time. Thank you. You are not forgotten. May we all stand. Don't watch you mal wa we we. Peja para boa. To observe a moment of silence. Surrender your life to the Almighty God this morning. So that as we commemorate this important day, the Lord will be speaking to you as well. So that this day may not go for free. 
but will cause a positive impact in your own life. Surrender all your needs unto the Almighty God this morning. Whatever challenge that you have in your life today, surrender to the Almighty God so that we shall go back never the same continue to be in the presence of the Lord all this we pray in the name of the Father of the Son and of the Holy Spirit please be seated take your seats Makabi licking. <laughs> Dear people of God gathered here, Black Palabama, Guadalcantin, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda in absentia, the date, but tell you about why, all the government officials and dignitaries in your capacities. Your Grace, the Most Reverend Stephen Kazimba Mugalu, and all the bishops and mamas present, all other religious leaders who are here present, all the people of God gathered here, pilgrims from all over the country. The people of Acholi, Kidgum Diocese, thank you for hosting us. May we give God a big hand clap, please. And extend a handshake to your neighbor. Extend a handshake to your neighbor. Tell him all that you are welcome to Kidgum. Welcome to Muchini. Welcome to this great day. The day that the Lord has made. We should be glad. We should rejoice in it. A clap to the Lord. Everybody rejoice in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Your grace and all the people of God gathered here. We bring you warm greetings from the land of the mountains, Kapchorwa. The land from the marathon champions. We bring you love greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Your grace have come with over 18 people from Sebei. And they are gathered here with us as you say somewhere again you can stand most of them the old clergy and the judicons your grace we are so glad that today we are here to celebrate the man of God to celebrate a hero Archbishop Janani Luhum, Archbishop Janani Luhum, who laid down his life, he sacrificed his life to die for Ugandans, to liberate the people of God. May we give God a big and clap for Janani Luhum. If he had nothing, he endured to the death. Like Jesus Christ and you are to the cross. And the people were liberated. It is the reason why we are here. It is the reason why we thank the Lord. I am here to testify your grace that along the way. From Kidugum town I saw people walking. We clapped those people who walked. People who have walked from Kampala, from within and far, people have traveled in vehicles, motorcycles, some have ridden bicycles, even the lame are here, the blind are here, they are expecting a miracle in their lives. Why have we come here today? Why have you decided to take all these distances? Please expect a miracle today in your life. Expect a miracle today. The Lord is going to do something great in your life. Your grace and brother bishops. 
That theme for Church of Uganda this year is conform, not conform to the truth of the word of the Lord. Conformed the truth of the word of the Lord. Not to the standards of the world. Not to the standards of the world. That has been extracted from Romans chapter 12. Verse 1 to 2. But today, I want to speak about spiritual growth. Tell somebody seated next to you that we are speaking about spiritual growth today. We are speaking about spiritual growth. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. And all the time, friends, we are here to grow spiritually. We have not come here to sit for nothing. We are not coming here to see people who are dressed up in different dresses. We are not coming to see different people of height or short, or black. We have come here to we listen from the Lord. And we shall go back home when we are spiritually filled. The man we are celebrating today, Janan Loom, he stood by his faith. He was not shaken. He never doubted. He was confident. I am told that some people even went to him and told him that your life is at risk your life is at risk that can you fly can you disappear from this country can you go to exile but he said I'm dying with my people I will be here I will die for the Lord I will die for the truth and at the right time his life was taken but from his blood the church has become more stronger the church of the Lord has continued to grow we are here at Muchwini a village but it has become so powerful it is now known all over the world because one single man by the name is Janan Luhum he offered his life and we are all gathered here the world knows Muchwini the world knows Kidugum Diocese and the people are online even right now the whole world are watching those who have not been able to come here are watching who want to thank the Lord for all of you are here because you are seeing things happening physically I'm blessed I'm also blessed to be here at Muchwini I'm blessed that I'm seeing all of you here also praise be the name of the Lord I want to thank God for everything that has taken place so far those meaningful songs that have been sung from here I want you to be blessed today I want you to ask the Lord to hold your right hand. Walk with the Lord today. Choose to walk with the Lord today. Choose to grow in faith today. Galatians chapter 5. From verse 16 which was read to us. He was speaking about the demons and the plans of the enemy to destroy the world. There are so many evils that are happening in our world today. But I want to encourage you who is here today. Choose to walk with the Lord. The work of the devil is to destroy. But the work of the Lord Jesus Christ is to give you life. Jesus is promising life to you today. Life in his abundance. Life in his fullness. Don't mind about that the devil is planning against you today. But Jesus is there for you. Jesus is standing for you. The devil is a loser. The devil will be ashamed. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. Spiritual warfare. We are fighting against all the evils of the world. We are fighting against evil things like sexual immorality. 
witchcraft hatred that is growing in our world drunkenness corruption oppression and all sorts of evil today we are deciding to say bye bye to all evil we want we to want grow we, we want, want to grow we, we want to stand firm on the firm foundation that Jesus laid for you and for me let us decide today to do those things that pleases the Lord let us choose to produce the fruits of the Holy Spirit the fruits of love the fruits of patience the fruits of goodness faithfulness hard work self-control that is what we are gathered here for today we are gathered to do those things that pleases the Lord it is hard to gauge how far you have grown spiritually but remember where the Lord has called you from hallelujah Amen. it is that difficult to say that I am now strong in salvation it is difficult to measure the level of your salvation but one important thing is to decide to remember where the Lord found you when you remember you that day now you remember the life you are living and you compare that old life with the new life that you have today that is when you will celebrate that is when you will see that the Lord has been so great some of the clap to the Lord some of the shout to the Lord you in who is here today the Lord found you somewhere in darkness the Lord found you in a deep pit the Lord found me when I was confused as a young boy at secondary school a young man who was losing direction and the Lord chose me the Lord picked me he sanctified me he cleansed me and made me what I am today and I can remember that old life when I remember that old life I regret and I begin to wonder if Jesus didn't pick me, where would I be? Ask your neighbor seated next to you. If Jesus didn't come into your life, where would you be? Ask your neighbor. If Jesus didn't come to your life, how would you be? Where would you be? Somebody shout and clap to the Lord. Because he chose you. He picked you. He sanctified you. He purified you and you made you a child of God touch yourself like this and say I'm a child of God I am a child of God and it is the reason why I'm here today it is the reason why I am blessed hallelujah never be discouraged my friends you know let me tell you the devil will always be reminding you about your failures the devil will tend to remind you about your past life but tell the devil I am no longer the same 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 Jesus chose you and he changed your life around you changed your life around no, and you are no longer no. the same. So don't allow the devil to remind you about the challenges. The devil don't allow you to look back into the old life. Look forward at the, what the Lord is having for you. Today, forget about the past. Let us grow. Let us grow by focusing on what is ahead of us. Focus what is ahead of you, my brother, my sister. Focus on what is ahead of you. Behind his sorrow, where you have come from is full of sorrow. But where we are going is full of joy. We are moving to a life that is better and every step that you take every time that you move you are moving towards a better life you are going to enjoy more good things keep moving keep moving keep moving hallelujah don't be disappointed 
Don't be discouraged. Keep moving. Keep moving. Face at the cross of the Lord. Look at the cross. That is where all our needs focus on the cross of Jesus. That is where all our needs are. The cross is the answer to all our needs. The cross is the solution for our problems. Today I am calling upon you. Don't listen to the voice of Satan again. Keep on listening to the voice of the Lord. That still false voice. That soft voice of the Lord. That is telling you. Keep moving. I am with you. That is the life we are moving in. All people of God gathered here. And and one in choose to follow Jesus. And one yes. Follow on his footsteps. The devil will always tend to remind you about the past. But don't allow that. Today decide to grow even much stronger. Praise be the name of the Lord. We are all here to be empowered by the Holy Spirit. Receive the power of the Holy Spirit today. Receive the power of God. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. May the Lord energize you today. May the Lord answer all your burdens and your challenges of life. Surrender unto the Lord today. Because he's there to walk with you. Jesus is saying, come. Come and walk with you. God is looking at the time when he will invite you in the kingdom. And he will say, well done. Well done. Well done. Faithful servant of the Lord. Come and sit with me. Come and sit with me. I'm looking forward for that day. We have not worked for nothing. We have not spent money to come here for nothing. And we shall not live here never the same. I want to believe that by the time you live here, all your needs and your burdens are lifted under the cross of God. I want you to live here today. When you are completely healed, all forms of diseases, all forms of trouble, today we counsel them in the name of Jesus. You are going when you are healed, you are going when you are lived, you are going when you are full of power. You are taking a testimony home, a testimony that the Lord is doing great things in your life. Today decide. Choose Jesus today. Yes, Janalu, me chose Jesus. He never gave up. He continued to face the cross. Even up to his death. You and I today, the Lord is saying, let us work hard. Let us run the race. Let us complete the race. And the crown of life is awaiting. The crown of life is awaiting. Tell your neighbor that the crown of life is waiting for you. The crown of life is waiting for you. That crown of life, we don't want to miss it. Always remember the progress of your spiritual growth. Remember that every time you are calling upon the name of God every time that you confess your sins every time that you repent you are moving closer looking no, like Christ you are looking more like Christ everybody gathered here today we want to look more like Jesus Jesus the man who never had sin no, he was a clean man. We are following on his footsteps. When we follow Jesus' footsteps, we look more closer like him. And life becomes more better. Keep moving. Keep growing. Keep growing. Never be disappointed. Never be discouraged. That is the work of the devil. But Jesus is saying, I am with you. I am beside you. I am ahead of you. I am behind you. And the Holy Spirit is hovering along you. Above you to comfort you. Dear people of God gathered here. May the Lord bless you while you are still here. May the Lord bless you as you go home. May the Lord bless you as you go back to churches. Let the Lord watch over you. And I want you to go back home when you are stronger in Christ. When you have more power than you can. 
Yesu. When you have all you have is have been added and be answered by the Lord. When no la gamma bay ma bay ma bay la ba. Bless all of you. I'm here to I wish you success in whatever you are doing. And may the Lord keep you alive. And we come back next year here. We want to hear great testimonies of the great things the Lord is going to do in your life. All this I pray in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless you. Be blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. Boy up. Praise the Lord. Amen. Wamiro kumbeti. Wami karni. Ikuwa padarma winyu lok. Iwe matie piarario korases. Tim monigiwa ki salvation bulu. Cathedral chapter. I hope you are there. Very well. Uh, Keto setting kere. Where we are, we want to reflect of the message and then we invite whoever feel, but then quietly as we sing this Jehovah, you are the most high God. Ira ye loba loba mape matiu chalo in as we reflect. Are you there, choir? You were prepared, please. Choir Cathedral chapter, you had been practicing this. The way we pay what we can earn, when I Why have you sat behind? Why you maro kawan? Why ripeka chel? Who know what we're not part of any enemy? We have no what to go on. Why are you getting where? Jesus, I am every day. You are the most high God. You are the most high God. Why are cathedral chapter? Why are Hallelujah. Why are cathedral chapter, please?
wano biaro luongo dano ki we mia ki piara dek pinwe ki leg piu kin mai winyo kwana kere we mia ki piara dek gina bala ene mau beru ka yelu the preacher has talked of all this and we give this time and this opportunity that you go when you are changed this is page 20 that one is 130 the altar call by the choir ginabare yeru this is what is destroying me and destroying everybody kai winyu twing luba tika luongi ni pin bore kwaya wa miro kombeti wa luongu heva who is here and feels that god should touch him and come to god ginabara yelowa and that one means it is sin and today we are here we need to go when we are reformed gin abala yelowa as we reflect on this word and we reflect on this song look at your neighbor but look at yourself what is god saying to you at this point of time there are many things moving in our lives in our homes moving in where we work and god wants you thank you so much for coming may i request the clergy to come here and receive these people they are here coming you can come and stand or you kneel depends what you see Either you stand or you kneel. This God we talked about is the God for you and for me. There are many things going in your life. And today you need to go when you are changed. The preacher talks of the seed of the Holy Spirit. The fruits of the Holy Spirit. We also have the devil on the other side. And God, Jesus on the other side. God wants to bless you. God wants to touch you. God wants to resurrect you. God wants to uplift you. God wants to bless you. Bring it to God. Two, two. Lubani, Eni, Lubani, Peloba, Panga, Tukere. Makai, Dokkang, Miri, Dokki, Lubani, Eni. Yen, Lubani, Eni, Nemiru, Yim, Lubani, Eni, Nemiru, An. Some of us have already destroyed the image of God in us with what we speak, with what we say, and with what we do. As the preacher said, this is the time you go back when you are transformed. You go back when you are redeemed. You go back when you have received the power of the Holy Spirit. This is the God you need, not any other God. The God we serve is the God you need. Please add all to God. Lubani eni lubani maene miro kunyini. Don't go elsewhere. Come to Him, and He will bless you. Please put all your supplication to God. God save those who are humble and those who have accepted not any other passion the proud Jesus came for you the belittle the nobody Jesus came for, came for you go with this blessing and today is your day and your time we serve than the God we worship. Lift up your heart to God. We want to thank God for you because God has spared you. We want to thank God for what he has done in your life. But nevertheless, there are other things you need to bring and clean. You know it much better than I do. 
Lubanu ngima karbiju. Wajam ni pun luban. Wajal dok nai dok majini malu dojo. Boy matet mada. Lubatian ni niki polo. Nika nama cuni kita miki kome. Nika wanu bidok kanyer wajam kila lukar meni ye. Lubani eni lubani. This is the God you need. Tialuang ach pishok mi rubi un lake piri wat nirwar Yesu Kristo ana bino pori amiu kwa na pori amiu tama pori amiu kira pori amiu roganga pori amiu ticha pori amiu jami tuchu pori aiti makicha arabalo abali tam abali lok abali teach lubati makicha kwanjala. Abiru pori luba, winlega na baba. Ami ukwa na pori, chonya ipukmekwa. We kabiri kinweli tioni. Miani chang luba, ni chang mechui, ni chang mekom. Inyingi Yesu Kristo ruata. Luba ami tuari kani chame kwa jilu luba ludi chuma ngur miru gonyu inying luba one ki word ki chui maleng. We akbisho kulekpiu. Olegi, oba matuero dushu paparu ra Yesu Kristo, opoi piyotinu meriman na meginu binu bore. Olegi ini yito iwi komloche chila maobanga bini yakina wakan. Chiri ikabirunia chil wehi winwa chela chel. Gonywa iarem. Gony white shawl ping, gony white luro, gony white top ping. Ento luba, yina me miru ni miru mochi kom kop meri. Achalo tiye joroma chora para rio. Kopu beru kwa, kopu beru tego, kopu beru gum, kopu beru kuch. Kopi luba, gony tiro ni ene. Kopi luba, chang tiro ni ene. Kopi luba. Gero tinu niene Kopi nubanga Amenu umo tawato apire En kopi Kel kwa nyen Nyak nyiki pashu wa Kela loka loka komwa Kela loka loka lobo wa Gero wa ama obanga Kela arbor wa Pi yeso kristo rotwa Amen Ba matweru tuji kopi ni jowari wa Deka kini chokere kare chene nyingi Shado tinu niene yabu chui nyingi Yini beri bot gi, mak bad gi, wok gi, tu gi, rosh gi amal ba, pi Yesu Kristu rotwa. Owe gam gum mas bishop bimeo. Father, we commit these your children in your hands, and we know you have the best for each one of them. And we will continue to pray that you render the devil powerless. And you take the devil as a captive. And Father, set these your people free. And the peace of God which passes human understanding keep you all. The knowledge of God and of his son, Jesus Christ. The blessings of God the Father Almighty without sorrow of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Rest upon each one of you now and forevermore. Amen. He pari, roti pari. He ne pari, roti pari. Yechi, hai baba he pari. He ne pari, hai baba he ne pari. Baba, hai yechi, hai ra, hai yechi. Rudiro kanicha, mulu kau bin kan. Ini pare rot me pare ye, rot 
Samuel Ojo. Ine pore. Hai yechi ine pore. Hai yechi ine pore. Roti pore ye. Hai papa. Hai yechi. Hai what? Hai yechi. Hai. Madoka dam. Ine pore. Roti pore ye. Hai what? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May I request all of us to stand as we pray. We sing Hallelujah chorus in the tune of Amazing Grace. Hallelujah. God, you are the God of the whole universe. You are the God who says, let there be, and all what you wish to be, shall be. We worship you. Today, in the 47th commemoration anniversary of your servant, Janan Loom. As we lift up all the families of the earth to you, God. Because you're the one who founded them. Because in the beginning, you are the one who created them male and female. That was the first family. And so we pray for all the families that are represented here today. Without forgetting the family which puts us together, the family of Jesus Christ. It has no tribe, but all tribes belong to it. Today, in the name of Jesus, as we commemorate your servant, Janan Loom, the martyr, his family, his children, 
his grandchildren, the church which he served. God, we call on you to look at all the families that are here. The families that are about to break, God, reunite them. Let there be love in families. Let there be unity in families. The demons fighting families, we come against you in the mighty name of Jesus and we declare fire against all the, the demons' works. Satan and all your, your armies, we declare you bound and thrown to the fire in the name of Jesus. God, let you reign in families as God Almighty. Reign in families as a loving God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying and everybody shall say... And Almighty God, we lift the whole church into your hands, O oh God. Fill it with the power, fill it with anointing, fill it with the blessings, and let your presence be with all the ministers. We remember the Archbishop of the province of the Church of Uganda, and all the bishops of your church, all the clergy, all the evangelists, and all the people of God who gather to worship you even now, here in Muchwini, where we are gathered right now, where the body of your servant, the martyr Janan Loom, is lying. We are trusting you, God, to grow the church. Fill it with the power. Where it is corrupt, God, budget. it. Where it's in error, redirect it. And where it has lost the power, re energize it. And give it the grace. To minister with the signs and wonders accompanying it. Right now in the church, we declare the healing of men and women who are gathered here right now. Those who are bound by demons, we declare in the name of Jesus, let there be healing right now. Let there be a breakthrough right now. We break every chain in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let your church operate with the power. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord and every soul will shout and say, Amen. Amen. Almighty God, we leave the government of Uganda into your hands under the leadership of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, Yoweri Kagota Museveni, and all the government officials who serve together with him in various portfolios, we declare and say Uganda belongs to you, O oh God. May you lead Uganda. May you remove corruption in Uganda. May you remove theft in, in general from Uganda. May you raise faithful men and women, even after this regime, who can lead this country even to greater heights. We thank you for the leadership of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda. And thank you for the way, O oh God, he operates, honoring the church, respecting the church, respecting the servants of God. In that regard, therefore, we invite you, God Almighty, bless His Excellency, Yori Kaguta Museveni, bless His family, bless the ministers, bless, O oh God, all the members of parliament, the LOC 5s, the councillors, the LOC 3s, the councillors, and all those who are in authority. We trust you, God, to bless all those whom we have put in authority because all seats of authority belong to you. Because power belongs to you. And you are happy that at this time the leaders we have are the leaders that we have got. So bless Uganda under their leadership. The devil and all his works, we command you to get out of Uganda because Uganda belongs to the Lord. We have a choice to serve the Almighty God, but not you, Satan. You will never rule over us. We declare this, saying Uganda is a blessed country. It is a gift for all of us, and we bless it through Jesus Christ, our Lord, and all the people of God will shout with joy and victor and say, Amen. Amen. Almighty God, we remember all the pilgrims who have traveled from far and near, religious and non-religious, born again and not born again, but touched by your power. May you bless all of them. For we are gathered here 
to commemorate a hero, a man who stood for his faith, he challenged the corruption. May you, o Lord God, enable all the pilgrims here to shun corruption in the name of Jesus. Corruption that begins in families, we command it to get out in the name of Jesus. May the pilgrims be filled with the Holy Spirit. As they travel back, God, those who came when they were not well, I declare them healed in the name of Jesus. I declare them healed in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Receive the anointing of the Lord and go and serve the Lord. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord and all the people of God will shout and say, Amen. Amen. Almighty God, this place needs to be developed. So we declare and commit the development of this place, St. Jinan Loom Memorial Site, into your hands. God, may you bless it, O oh God. May you grow it. May you bless it. Any demon that's making sure this site cannot be developed, we chase it out in the name of Jesus. Even as it's written in Matthew 11, 12, that from the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffers violence. And the violent have to take it by force. Therefore, we force out any king of the devil that is destroying the development of this place. We command to get out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. And we bless the committee, the development committee, to receive the anointing, the wisdom, the leadership, the ability to develop this place in the name of Jesus. And any demon that tries to resist, let it meet with the fire of the Lord. And we declare the reign of Christ in this place so that it will grow and meet the requirements of God that you want it to possess. Heavenly Father, may you reign in all our lives, O oh God, and bless this place, anoint this place so that it becomes a healing ground, it becomes a deliverance ground, it becomes a place where your people are released from the chains of sin from the chains of corruption, from the chains of the decaying world, from the chains of immorality. God, rule over this land and lead this committee, which we commit to you through Jesus Christ, our Lord, and all the people of God will shout with victory and say, Amen. Amen. Give God a big round of applause and a shout of victory in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And somebody will shout and say, Amen, amen and Amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is good all the time. and all the time. All Let's give a mighty hand clap to God for all that has happened. We thank God for the message. We thank God for the souls who have been saved and for the intercession prayer. We are now on page 22 as we bring our gifts to God. The choir will lead us in Him, number 174 for our offertory as we joyfully bring our gifts to God. Choir, you can lead us. You can sit or stand as the Spirit leads you. The ushers, are you there? I'm not trying to see. Ushers, I hope you are there. Please move. It's time for offertory. Time for offertory. The ushers, please.
Caesar, Caesar of Moin. Caesar of Moin, be the Very fast, Caesar. Richard, are you there? Try to see Caesar going where the choir is. Where are Richard? Brian, with your team. You see Caesar, please. Brian from All Saints Cathedral. Very fast. See Caesar. Next one, the next hymn.
this and after this we are preparing the ground to dance Asas, please hurry, Asas.
stand up and we ask the Lord to bless the sufferings. We all stand up. God our Father, we offer you our lives and we offer you all what you have given to us. Because everything belongs to you and we offer you these resources for your ministry and bless us as we have given for your ministry in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen, Amen. As we remain standing brethren we will be invited to the communion on page 28. You who sincerely repent of your sins and love your neighbors and intend to lead a new life, keeping God's commandments and Together, we do not come to your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own goodness, but in your mercy, we are not good enough even to eat the crumb that falls from your table, but you never change. Your nature is always to have mercy. We therefore humbly ask you, gracious Lord, to let us eat the flesh of your dear son, Jesus Christ, and drink his blood, so that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body and our souls washed by his precious blood, and that we may for it dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us remember the night our Lord Jesus Christ was betrayed. He took bread. And after giving thanks, he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples saying, Take and eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in memory of me. And after supper, he took the cup. And after giving thanks, he gave it to them saying, Drink this all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this whenever I drink it in memory of me. Together. Now, I invite you to come and take the body of our Lord Jesus Christ and drink his blood to preserve you in eternal life. Amen. The choir, we invite you now to lead us in Holy Communion hymns. You will be served at different points. Just be where you are. The priests and the bishops will reach your tent. Bishops, ibe biano mino u nyero kama wuti ye ubile kuludiro kanicha ubien chok the bishops shall request some clergy to come and move with the bishop at different points. Please come near here. You are to be served first.
and the people serving, thank you. Let's wrap up so that we keep within our time. Thank you for your service. Let's wrap up so that we keep within time. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Dennis, thank you so much. We with the choir. Please come, let us clap for the choir. This choir are from it is it it is Uganda choir. Praise the Lord. It is not only Kid Goom, not Marian Wesner, but they are doing. And they are here. They have come from different dioceses. And that is why they are here. Praise the Lord. We are left with the two things to do. And then His grace blesses all of us. And we get into the speeches. I have announced here the dignitaries present, but it will be properly announced as we get to speeches. At this point, we want to invite the St. Janani Lewum Memorial Site Development Committee who will come here to be commissioned. Uh, their chairperson is Canon James Sogola who will be here. I think Canon or Justice, Canon James Sogola. They will be marching here Canon Dr. Gladys Abe Oyat for the Diocese of Kidgum. Uh, please, as I mentioned, please, you'll be coming. A representative on the government side, Honorable Henry Uriamu Kello. Uh, from Nebi, we have Honorable Grace Freedom Kwe Chuin, the Minister of Northern Uganda. We have 
uh, the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Ethics, or Director of Ethics and Integrity. Uh, I need to meet Ambassador Olarotuno, who was trying to contemplate the business he has, but we still count him here, but then we need to see uh, how he helps us in the diaspora. Honorable Obeno Kelo to come family, Canon Kenneth Thodu Laudices, Canon Anis Onesimus Drug Liga of Madian West Nile, Canon Richard Ogwang Odiero West Lango, Provincial Secretary, we have here the chair passion for the land giver to displace Olal Moses Adinyeko, and then we have Canon Jackson Mona and the Diocesan Secretary. These are big men and women of integrity. These are people learn to spearhead, but all of us belong to this committee. One or the other, we shall be put in this committee. But we have entrusted them just to spearhead what is going to take place. Thank you so much. May I take the roll call now? Yeah, I'm seeing Honorable Ben Ukelo is coming with the chair passion of the land giver, Ulal Moses Dinyeko. They are already coming that side. Honorable Minister Kwe Chwin, representing Nebi Diocese, is already here. Our Diocesan Secretary, Reverend Willie Lau, and then the Provincial Secretary. Some of these people are offices, but not names. If you are there today, you belong there. And then we have, but Grace Kwechwin is not by office. Praise the Lord. And Canon Kenneth Odu is here from Lango. Justice James Ogola is here. And he is the deputy provincial chancellor. Indeed, as we are here, he is known. Dr. Gladys Uyat is here. You can hear their names. The canons. And then Richard Nesimas, P.S. Ethics Integrity, His Grace wants to commission you. Your Grace. Uh, the matter we are remembering today committed his life to the service of the Lord and his physical life perished but he is alive so now these brothers and sisters here present have been called to do a simple task, not compared to what Archbishop Janan Room did, to die in service. This is not about you dying. It's about service so that this place is developed to a level which befits the So thank you so much. We congratulate you. And may the Lord bless you. You are all trusted people. We trust you and you are fat people. Because the church is calling for fat people. F A T. Faithful, available, and teachable. Amen. Again, the church is calling fat, faithful, available, teachable.
concerning the development of this site, we pray that they will find favor among the people that they will work with and for. And we pray, O oh Lord, that finally your favors will rest upon them as they carry out this divine duty to your honor and glory. Because this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And now, the peace of God which passes the money and the to you all, the knowledge of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ. The blessing.
because it used to be former gold member. Yesu, wana sifiwe, muwazima, asanjeni kwa kutemea.
choir please choir please. are we a place are we are can you help us organize this choir very fast please Ah, kadong pere ti walu bano. Please, ti do chak do, wa mero winyo. Wa mero winyo, konga ki boti ka chele ya. Wa mero chak chele. Pa is not there. Ban. Stop there and you just start as we organize. Uh huh. <laughs>
Church of Uganda, my brother bishops and mamas, brother bishops from Ghana, say the family of Papa John and the Honorable Ministers and FBC President, Karen Sklaje and all later, ladies and gentlemen, all protocol observe. I am Michael Ogui Asakan, the second bishop of the Diocese of Kume, Church of Uganda. Allow me, on behalf of the House of Bishops, very warmly welcome you and thank you for coming to participate and to honor the third Archbishop of Uganda, Church of Uganda, the 21st modern century martyr, General Luom, in our 47th commemorations anniversary. We welcome you and thank you. A round of applause to the people who led us in worship. The Excellency, the President of Uganda, would like as a church first to thank you for gathering together with the Parliament of Uganda this day for the church. For the Uganda to give us time to celebrate their own, and we say thank you. We also would like to thank you, Excellency, for the world, peace, security, and sanity among, U among Ugandans, which is evidenced by the peace and the development we see, and the roads we see in our country. We say thank you. We want also to thank you as we celebrate today the government of Uganda for standing firm and firm in rejecting the coercion and advances of our Western power friends to help to bring into this country the vice of homosexuality. We thank you. As a church, we stand with you. Finally, as a church, we'd like to thank you for the freedoms of worship you've given to us. However, our freedom should not be used for mis mismanaging others. We ask you, I am the Bishop of Kume, that uh, help us to help each Ugandan to worship God in your property and your, in your church. May I now take this opportunity and honor to let us know the order of speeches. Beloved, we have six speeches. We will listen to LOC Chairperson, Fa, LOC Chairperson, Area MP, the Minister of Ethics and Integrity, the Chief Justice, and Guest of Honor in that order. LOC 5, number one. And LOC 5, listen to the rubrics, the rules. One, the LOC 5, Area MP, and Minister of Ethics and Integrity will each speak for five minutes and you don't pass on any mic to anyone. The Chief Justice will honor you seven minutes. The rest will speak at leisure. May I ask us all to stand, and we have the anthem to sung, and then we shall be able to communicate in that order. Please stand, anthems. Again, you sing them in, in the traditional order, and when we are concluding, we shall sing them in the reverse order. Please stand. May I ask the band, whichever band has been, is, is Teari, to come and support us and lead us in singing anthems in the order. Anthems, anthems. When I used to be a musician, I would have led you in the Uganda anthem. 24, three, please. We will begin with the cultural anthem. It's the culture of all the, the Uganda verse.
Beloved, beloved, some some corrections. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. There have been changes that have just happened. We will have the LOC 5 chairperson, the area MP, the Minister of Ethics and Integrity, who will invite the Minister of Internal Affairs and the Chief Justice shall be the guest of honor. In that order. His grace will come first and then the guest of honor. Please stand and we have the anthem sung. The national anthem first. National anthem first. This is a national function. Page 38. In the order of a liturgy. Page 38. Page 38. Please stand. We honor Uganda.
Okay. There are chairs and a lectern from the Minister of Ethics as a gift for this function. Father in heaven, sanctify and bless this lectern and chairs for your youth always as we celebrate the life of your servant. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Area, area, LC5 to a person. Kindly come over. I know you have, you are speaking from the other side. Five minutes. Welcome. LOC Chair 5. Do we have a mic? Please kindly support. No, this is, this is the one I'm using here. Yes. Kindly supply another mic for LOC 5 Chairperson. Thank you very much for availing the LC5 to pass on a microphone. Uh, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, here represented by the Minister of Internal Affairs, the Archbishop, and all the bishops who co con celebrated these wonderful prayers. The Chief of Justice of Uganda, the Honorable Members of Parliament, sorry, the Honorable Members, the Ministers here present, Members of Parliament, Members of the Diplomatic Corps, Religious Leaders and Cultural Leaders, Members of Security Agencies, the District Resident Commissioners here present, the district chairpersons here with us, civil servants in their respective order, local government leaders here present with us, media houses, all dignitary from far and wide. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Arroy Christophe Aubon, the district chairperson of Kitgum District. Kindly allow me to quickly recognize the presence of LC5 chairpersons here with us today. Just rise up and wave to the congregation. I thank those who attended together with us today. Also want to recognize all the local leaders from LC1, mayors, LC3 chairpersons, and also LC5 chairpersons, just rise up and wave to the congregation. I thank you all for attending this ceremony. The guests of honor, as the political aid of Kitgum District local government, I like you and all pilgrims who have traveled from far and near to Kitgum, and more especially, to Mutwini, the cradle land of the late Archbishop Janani Jakalia Luom for this memorial uh, uh, celebration. Allow me not that we are very inspired but by the life of Archbishop Janani Jakalia Luom, led by his courage and the impact he has had on the church, both in Uganda and globally. The witness of his life challenges has not to be just aware, but conscious about the fact of love that God has bestowed us for his people. We hope by coming here, we shall all get vitalized 
by his courage to step up in words and deeds. Every commemoration ceremony of Archbishop Janani Loom is a historic day for the global Christian community, the nation, and for us as a district. It is a day all Christians celebrate resilience and a determination to speak the truth, walk in the truth, and die for the truth. The chief guest today as you join us here in Kirgum district and the entire world to commemorate this historic day, allow me to thank you and please forward our regards to His Excellency, who should have been here with us in Kirgum. We so much longed to have him here, but I think you have made able representation for this particular celebration. Luak Bamego me Kirgum, Agiru Lokaki Wajo Kirman, Ni Wan Machala Achuli, Wan Machal Rutino da Anuali, Kamalieli, O Aki, Watiki Gum. Watiki gum, pian watiki dano, mo kerukwane ping, we ala ala abiri lobo, da ala ala abime de kibini lobo, ki ching jo, we dog jo, magiti yo pigwa koko, we me de kilega, ni kare duchu, machalo dula chuli, miro we me de kiye mo megwa, watiki gum, iya chuli kiken, ati ane chuli makumalo. Watiki Luleng, Maramadang Wen. Watiki Archbishop Janani Jakalia Luom. Watiki Dawidu Kelo. Watiki Jilde Irwa. Kidong Mea Giki Bene. Watiki Bishop Ambrosoli. Mafut Beatification. Utime Mwahamu Karachok Chokene. Man Nyuruni. Watiki Gum. Lua Ka Urukiu Birukan. Walego Nim Karaduchu. Wari chingwa, meto arokero wa, wari wabed kikero, meto arokwe mamegwa, kikomwa. Atamo wanubi mokoneni, icha mukene, gin kwaj pe moko odeyo. Ento jiki maleka watiki kero na, chi warama ti mjami wa, dok warama loyo, kitma wa yobu yobu kere. Piman, loko me chigo chigo, ere ye ere, alego lo akduchu, Kakuni kido kabiruki kugwa kigum maroba miyoti mbwa ana foya for God and my country. A round of applause for the chairman. I now upgrade my rubrics. When you see me standing, you know your time is up. If I cough, it means you walk away. It's a red card. May I therefore invite? May I therefore invite the area MP to come and address us. Area MP, please. Kifo Yesu Christo. Afoye matek. Wele wamea wara. Ladit. Makoni tikador waelega. Watieki. Laditwa Chief Justice, ki wele ma pari pari ministers, ki members ne parliament, ki ludiro ma loyal district, ki kabero ma pari pari, ki ludiro kanicha duchu ma kono a ki kabero ma pat pat. Anya la muara Margaret udwa anati member ne parliament me chua east. Koni ka chung kany pa mi ka bin ka durlo ma Paul. Watiki members of parliament, magu biro kanywa koketi walega, ena yeme a chill kwa miro kong, a legi ro a malo, kalu onyingi pianki wacha chik matep ni peti kopo microphone bodngat mokene. Watiki ukot amos MP me agago north. Watiki Honorable Achora Nancy, Woman MP Me Lamo District. 
Watiki Honorable Okin PP, uh, Area MP, Mechua West. Kibena Watiki Latela, Wama Eno Yonu to Wayo, Muwe Okoni Wanti Omukan Wario Mechia Retela, Watiki Latela, Mauno Beru MP Mechua, Honorable Okelo Kelo. Koni dongati jomo kene magua fudi tika biro unyokiti ingeya koni wana bunyotugi lutua antin pa mita du ma Paul amita four to twelve uh, Church of Uganda me tiu matek kidong kumbiri chawa ni one machalo jo kidgum one machalo jo mchwini pe watika lega people pini ano palum. Wam Kenwa Imwarani. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> La dear President Nakulo. President, may you PC Honorable Jima Kera MP Melira Municipality Tekan Fasan. Sorry. Tima Keja. Ladit. Ah, uh, anti uno ka watuni, imwagani eni, unye mwaga madung bi mete, amira fo kine no me church of Uganda, madung tika we kutela me legani, aki idaisis mukene, ma pe wego be chalo wam jo kipgum watika owning. Kumira mira fo matera dida kine no me church of Uganda. Kakuni da dog pian tin ni no lega. Kakuna dog board gamente, a mira fo you wear kagota matera tira, me weko ni po pa jana ni loom, ube ni na ma we lobo weng nye you. Sam jana ni loom, kari tiri, kari dip, uberu la nem no, ma we lobo nye you, dog beno to, to pi wan, kanga mukwano, vukpa kimati. The grain of wheat. Why do you want to make a curry in the womb? Because the curry is too, the curry is done. So, the curry is done in the womb. The curry is done in Uganda. The curry is done in Acholi. The curry is done in the Lobo Duchu. The mama is done in the womb. The curry is done in the womb. The curry is done in the womb. The curry is done in the womb. You will go to the museum. If we are not going to make any bill or rebuket, we are not man. We are not going to go to the court. We are not going to go to the court. We are not going to go to the court. We are not going to go to the court. We are not going to go to the court. We are not going to go to the court. We are not going to go to the court. Lok madok ti matera tira la di chief of chief guest ena ye lok um liech liech don futi ma ukelo kech tu tuale iku malo malubu loba choli lobo lao kilo boka ma kor mu jo rubu lobo lobo kama kitepo rumu wati kipero matera me kech ma amira for his excellency you wait kagota mu seven me mi ni wa tractor. Me pu we ko kony kim na di ang wadong peni pa mira du ma Paul anti na mira lok en leba chuli pian tu ika ikuy da ba kilo ko en leba money chani so ko ni kigo no yere lok ame agiti ah the chief guest we nyo kim na kilo ko kere wa mira wa fo this is me church of Uganda. Ki kati ki plan me sen jani luhum kany beru magamete me Uganda uye wamiru wafo dokwa jolo dokwa wajo ki chui nwani wafo ya tira tira kona mira fo directorate of ethics and integrity piti matek mawero alora alora meni yano matini pa ki muke ane manu jui jui waberu katima ne Amira fo ma tek mukendo ngwa rapero mu rukune kono do 
minister me ethics and integrity me a me biru lo ki lu ape mego adioli thank you a round of applause thank you the minister will say few remarks and invite the minister of internal affairs who will say what and they after god is good and all the time wow your excellency the president of the republic of uganda his lordship chief justice alfonso windolo your grace the archbishop of the church of uganda and all the bishops present the paramount chief of atoli Lord David Onena Chana, cabinet ministers and ministers of state present, your excellencies, the heads of diplomatic missions, honorable members of parliament present, former national leaders present, religious leaders present, heads of anti-corruption agencies present, permanent secretaries present heads of security forces present all public officers the clergy and all the the, the pilgrims your your lordship the chief justice of the republic of uganda representing the chief guest his excellency the president of uganda i want to take this opportunity to welcome you to the 47th prayer in commemoration of St. Janan Loum Day here at Wigweng Muchwini Kidgum district. I want also to welcome the Minister for Internal Affairs, General Kainda Otafire. You are most welcome and we want to thank you for honoring to come to pray with us today. I welcome you all to this 47th commemoration of St. Jan and Loom Day, and I thank you for honoring the day with your presence in such great numbers. My words today will be words of appreciation. First and foremost, I want to thank his Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, for designating this day, St. Jan and Loom Day, as a national day, as well as a public holiday. <laughs> Secondly, for endorsing the development of Muchini into an international pilgrimage and tourist site. We all look forward to this great day. Can we thank God and we clap for God for this. I want to thank the Church of Uganda, led by His, His Grace the Archbishop, which has worked closely with the government to organize this commemoration day. In this regard, I, I, I want to thank the National Organizing Committee, shared jointly by the Permanent Secretary, Directorate for Ethics and Integrity, Mr. Alex Okello, and the Provincial Secretary, Church of Uganda, Reverend Canon William Ogeng, who have worked hard together with their officers to make this day come to a success. I want to thank the family of the late Archbishop Janan Loum who donated this land on which we are standing to the Diocese of Kidgum, Church of Uganda. This was the first step in the development process and we appreciate the Jana and Loum family for that act of commitment and nationalism. We thank you so much as government. I do request the Church of Uganda to complete the initial process, including obtaining a certificate of title and bills of quantities 
for the master plan so that we can submit them to the Ministry of Works and Transport for approval. I thank the Reverend, the Right Reverend Wilson Kitara, the Bishop of Diocese of Kidgum, together with the Central Organizing Committee, best here in Kidgum, shared by Canon Dr. Gladys Oyat, an engineer, Andrew Kilama, the Vice Chairperson. This organizing committee has done a lot of groundwork in organizing this commemoration and have looked after the foot pilgrims who walked from Kampala, Gulu, Arua, North Karamoja Diocese, and other districts up to here as part of their commemoration activities. We thank you so much. Fellow, fellow pilgrims, the theme for this 47th commemoration is conforming to the truth of God's word, not the patterns of the world. This theme is taken from the books of Romans, chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. There is a pattern of habits which is currently invading society and the Church of Christ, which is attracting many people, especially the youth. The theme is intended to draw people to God rather than following worldly trends. In the midst of the many challenges that we face, there is need for unity and to stick to the truth, which is the word of God. This is my appeal to all of us as believers in God. I also want to thank all of you, fellow pilgrims, for your solidarity and turning up in such big numbers every year to honor, celebrate, and provide thanksgiving for the life and testimony of St. Jen and Loum. His martyrdom is a uniting factor for all of us, and I pray that his will continue to work together as Ugandans to develop our country. Your Lordship, before I conclude and invite the Minister of Internal Affairs, I would request that I also introduce the members of Cabinet who are here present with us. We have Minister Hilary, on Engineer Hilary Onek, the Minister for Disaster Preparedness and Relief and Refugees. We also have the Minister for Northern Uganda, Honorable Grace Freedom. In conclusion, I want to thank again government under the visionary leadership of His Excellency Yori Kaguta Museveni for his commitment to the political stability and economic development, which has created a very good and peaceful environment for every Ugandan to live in. I therefore take this opportunity to invite the Minister for Internal Affairs to make his remarks and thereafter invite the chief guest who is representing our president. Thank you. God is good and all the time. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Just a reminder, after the Minister of Internal Affairs speaks, we have His Grace first. In the order of the church, His Grace will be the one to invite the chief guest. That's how the church works. Thank you. Lost child. Is it lost and found? Child, there. My Lord, the Chief Justice of the Republic of Uganda. The Right Honorable Alphonse Owinidoro, my friend, 
Your Grace, the Archbishop of Uganda, Dr. Stephen Mugalu Kazimba, who is also my friend, colleague ministers, colleague members of parliament, our bosses, the voters, My Lord, 47 years ago, on this day, I had the misfortune of witnessing the drama and the tomfoolery that preceded the murder of Archbishop Luum. I was there at Nile Mansion when these three, the Archbishop Rowum, the late Oboso Fumbi, and the late Nile Riyama were tried in a kangaroo court. with the attendant paraphernalia and condemned. I was a young foreign service officer and we'd been asked to come to Nile Mansion. You could see From the way those in power were talking, that the murder was inevitable. Anybody saying it was an accident is wrong. The, om the mens rea was ominous. And I must satisfy that the three were aware of what was going to befall them that day. I could see the letter Nayo Oriema and Oberto Fumbi resigned to their fate. It was only Archbishop Rumum whose countenance displayed acceptance, hope, and fortitude. The late Archbishop Rumum had chosen to speak for the downtrodden. He'd chosen to bear the cross for the voiceless. And he was aware of the potential consequences and he accepted it. Fortunately for me, at that time, we were already engaged in fighting Idi Amin. I was already a member of NASA, and the death of Archbishop Rumum, rather than discouraging us, stilled our resolve to fight for justice and for the liberation of our country. I saw it all. And that's what gives me presentiment when I see leaders engaging in reckless behavior. 
when I see leaders uttering words that divide us rather than unite us. This Commonwealth called Uganda was created not by our forebears, but in Berlin. We had no choice to be Ugandans. But at independence, we accepted this Commonwealth and we became Uganda. And our differences is our strength. That's how empires survive. There is nobody called a Roman. Romans were Germans, Italians, Spanish, English, Egyptians, Jews, all of those who belong to the Roman Empire. In their diversity, they created a mighty empire. In our diversity, we should struggle to create a strong, united, and prosperous Uganda. No tribe or ethnicity makes greater contribution to the welfare of Uganda than the other tribes. We are all equal. No religion has got a monopoly of virtue and vice. Let's all come to God the way we are. Since God accepts us, let's use our religious differences to give glory to God and create prosperity for Uganda. Let's put Uganda first. Only then, only then can we proudly walk up and say we are Ugandans. Let's emphasize what unites us. Let's emphasize what's primary and disregard was secondary. Those faith, those traditions, those beliefs that be divide us should be discarded. Let's emphasize what uplifts our welfare. Let's emphasize what puts us together and puts us on the march of progress. Culturally, we the Majankore never used to eat fish. I, I doubt whether it was culture or because there was nowhere to catch it from. There are no lakes in Angkore. Even if we wanted it, <laughs> where, where would we get it from? Now, when I grew up, I realized that was a, back, a backward practice. And I eat fish. And you can say I'm not small. <laughs> that, I eat fish, I eat chicken, I eat mutton, <laughs> I eat eggs. Those are things we never used to eat. That belief and practice was not moving our society forward. I appeal to every Ugandan to discard that which holds us backward, what is anachronistic, and promote and cross fertilize 
those virtues and practices that promote development and growth. Let's accept each other as we are. There is a song by Church of Uganda where they say, God, I pray to you, take me as I am. And that's what I always tell God. On the rare occasions when I go to church. I tell him, you know, God, I am here. I'm your creation. When the time comes, just take me as I am. Just take me as I am and uh, everything will be okay. Your grace. When I witnessed the drama of what happened on this day, I am sorry. I started questioning the wisdom of telling us that leaders are anointed by God. I asked God, surely God, good as you are, are you the one who anointed a mean or so? Couldn't you have done better for Uganda? Countrymen, much as God anoints leaders, you also have a role to play. You have your vote. Be careful. Be very careful. Exercise your right to vote diligently, cautiously, aware of where you are going. Forget this excitement. No excitement. You have only one life. You don't have another chance. Every single that day that goes by is a day gone and gone forever. And when they tell you happy, happy new year, that's a step towards the grave. You don't have another chance. So don't squander your vote if for choosing a leader who will lead you to progress. We deserve better. We don't have to follow sweet nothings. You want to lead. It's not you have a handsome face or beautiful dress. It's what are you going to do for us? Unat perekawapi. When you get another Idamin, don't blame me. You have voted that Idamin into power. Just because you are excited. This lady uh, here and there comes here promising you heaven and us as if he has never been to heaven when he has never been. And then you sing and put up finger and say, Here are all your savior. <laughs> the next day, the man turns into a monster. You've created him, you can't remove him. So be careful. We've walked a long path. I'm sure we've faltered along the way. Faltering is not the problem. The problem is inability to learn from your mistakes. The inability to learn from your mistakes is the problem. But making mistakes is, is human. It's only a stationary car that doesn't raise dust. But when you've raised dust and you've noticed it, 
Do you hear it? No. Not at all. I am scared by we Ugandan celebrating the death of Janan Wum and not questioning whether it was worth it for him to die. Why? Why did he have to die? Why did he die and we went on with Idi Amin as if nothing had happened? Once beaten, why shy? Learn to stand up and speak. Learn to stand up and speak. D don't quarrel. There is a difference between d freedom of expression and rioting. Th this is the problem I have with some of my, my friends in the opposition. They say they're exercising the right to speak, but then they, they bring stones. They... So I say, freedom of expression is illegitimate and legal, but royalty is illegitimate and a crime. So choose. I encourage Ugandans to speak. Nobody should gag you. I encourage Ugandans to speak, to exercise your right of freedom of expression, freedom of association. I, I, I didn't acknowledge my friend, the president of the UPC. I'm sorry, Jimmy. We are friends. Now, I found him at Pamozi Hotel in Zambia. He was very young, but he was sharp. I was head of the Secret Service of Uganda. And I asked him, I said, but Jimmy, the way you are talking, you could be very useful in Uganda. And he said, sorry, I, I, I can't come because I'm opposed to you. I told him, I will tell you, that, but we are working with people who are shooting at us yesterday. For you, you wrote as a literal, as to raise a stone at a passing military vehicle. We are working with people who are shooting at us, you. Then he told me he was on both his side. I said, look at him. I'm also my father's son. <laughs> Where is it written? In the laws of Uganda, the laws of the church, and the, and, and the laws of God, that a both his son cannot come to Uganda. I am very glad that Jimmy Akena has come back and is contributing to the rebuilding of this country and he's my friend, faithful and just. That's the way we should live on earth. Our life on earth is just, like I've always said, is just an infinitism opposed in eternity. Uganda was there without you, it's here with you, it will be here long after you are gone. Just make your contribution. Don't try it on Uganda. Just make your contribution. That's, that's what we ask of you. To be a good Ugandan. And to be a good Ugandan, you must embrace every Ugandan, everybody who ascribes to Uganda. Whether he's from Soro, or Uraba, or a if he's not coming to wrestle our, our cows. In fact, I was telling somebody, we should put these Ankori cows between uh, Achori and, uh, and Karamoja because they don't walk. <laughs> we should just get all these cows and put them there. When they come to steal them, we shall catch them because they, they, those cows don't walk. You can't, <laughs> you can't chase them. <laughs> My Lord, I'm glad you are here. I have known the Chief Justice from the time he was in CA. I commend him to you, the people of Achori. He is a nice man. 
And I'm not very fond of compliments. I'm not very fond of compliments. But Justice Owinidoro is a nice man. And I call him a friend. I call him a friend because I saw in him capacity to speak for the downtrodden. My ideological identity is struggle. Struggle for the oppressed. My mantra is voice for the voiceless. I thank you, ladies and gentlemen. May I take this opportunity to ask the, His Grace the Chief, the, the Archbishop, to come and address us. But I thought the Archbishop was going to, to give us a vote of thanks. <laughs> thank you. A round of applause to the Minister of Internal Affairs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May I invite the area bishop who will in turn invite his grace. And thereafter, his grace will invite the chief guest. And we will then sing anthems in the reverse order, each one stanza. And thereafter, we go for a photo taking with our guests. I'm humbled to have been your master of ceremonies in our language, if we have blessings. Thank you, Your Grace and the bishops here, the chief guests of today, all the ministers present, all the members of parliament present, the permanent secretaries of different ministries present, our paramount chief of Acholi, David Onena Chana, thank you so much to come and be with us. The LC fives, RDCs, mayors, LC three, LC two, LC ones, and your councillors. The family of Archbishop, led by Honourable Ben Ukelo Luum. Security personnel. This area now has newly been granted to be a regional police and we have police commanders and officers, that one is Achua East. DPC, the UPDF officers present, thank you for coming and for gracing this occasion, ladies and gentlemen. Announcement, next year, unless otherwise, unless the, uh, the House of Bishop changes to get into now, either Rwanda, Burundi, or Boga Zaire. But if not yet, then it will be another pun for the Diocese of Kidgum and Northern Uganda. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, Permanent Secretary, Director Ethics Integrity for the lockdown which has been prayed for and the chairs, indeed, you have started. These are now things dedicated for this day, and it will be there for this commemoration. With all this appreciation, I pray God's blessing as you leave. Next year, you come back again, and you travel well. You are grace, you are welcome, and you greet and talk to the congregation. The guest of honor, His Excellency General Yoweri Kaguta Museven, the President of the Republic of Uganda, being represented by the Chief Justice of Uganda, the Minister of Internal Affairs, Brother Bishop and dear wives, I want to honor the protocol the way it was ably brought us 
by the, our chief whip and also the bishop. Allow me before I make my remarks on the presence of uh, uh, my brother, Archbishop from the Roman Catholic Church, Archbishop Pandama. Would you please come here and greet the people? Archbishop Pandama, we work together. We have been interacting for many years, and he is a man with a passion for human rights. Thank you so much. Let us receive him. Thank you, all, my brother, Archbishop of Church of Uganda, for giving me this short moment to greet the pilgrims. Thank you. I have a very comprehensive protocol while we honor the individuals Allow me to say, fellow brothers and sisters, in your respective positions in the society, in the church, I want to thank God that he has made one of his sons his witness for which we are gathered here. And I've been asked to greet you. Fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, in God, those who don't believe in God, at least in humanity. I greet you all for coming to praise God and thank him for the gift of our beloved martyr, Archbishop Janan Loom. And to honor him, honor Archbishop. While praising and thanking God, we come to honor our Archbishop. Janan Lohum. I would like to say this. Why do we come here to Wigwang? Because there is a teacher here. There is a teacher of faith, of truth teacher of courage, teacher of justice, teacher of peace, teacher of reconciliation. So every time we come to learn from him how to live as a person of faith in Christ, in his resurrection, in his truth, and his courage, in the justice and the peace and the reconciliation. Therefore, is a model for us, a model to follow, self-sacrifice for Christ and to show an example how to live like Christ on this earth. My brother, Archbishop, Janan Laum, although I didn't live with you,
But I saw you when I was a young seminarian. You were a leader. And you stood for Christ, for your people. Not only in Uganda, but also in Baga Zaire. So my brother, Archbishop, you are in his footstep. My fellow brother bishops, that is the responsibility he has left for us. Archbishop Janan Loum. For today, this moment, we must stand where he stood and speak with that confidence and the trust in God that we lead our people to follow Christ and our nation, Uganda, to follow Christ. For God and my country, thank you. Wish you God's success. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Let us appreciate Archbishop Odama for those words. Our guest of honor and all of you, I welcome you to Muchwini. We would like to thank the government of Uganda and through the Ministry of Ethics and the Integrity, the Director, the PS has been so close to us, Reverend Elon, Reverend Canon Elon Musk has been so close to us. We thank you all for your continued partnership with the Church of Uganda on various projects and programs. As you can see, there is still so much to do on this Janan Room project in order to give it an international outlook and thus attract more benefits accruing from tourism investment. This year's event has attracted more people, more programs, and more support towards the work being carried out here. Would like to appreciate the programs who worked from Kampala to here we thank God for you and we already prayed for them. Thank you all who have walked Janani Room Food Pilgrimage this year and for the grace to complete the journey. We appreciate the security organs and the sponsors who have supported this activity to its conclusion. Praise the Lord. Let us appreciate them. Our guest of honor Today we are reflecting on the theme conforming to the truth of God's word that transforms. Taken from Romans chapter 12. This is our guiding provincial theme for 2024 and we like everyone in Church of Uganda to reflect on it. God is the truth liberates. God's word transforms us to better citizens and neighbors. We thank the government for setting aside this day of 16 February to always remember our beloved late Archbishop Janani Rome. We also extend our special thanks to His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, for pledging support the Church of Uganda in settling the debt on Janani Room Church House. Our prayer is that the Ministry of Finance will consider us in this, its budget so that our piece of land at Makerere is compensated as the President had directed last year when he was here. In this way, we are able to settle this debt with the Ikte Bank so that we keep the legacy of the man we are remembering. Because this this project was named after him, Janani Room Church House. Also, St. Lawrence 
Primary Teachers College in the Diocese of Luango. This is the school where Archbishop Janani Rum started from as a teacher. It was among those which were phased out. I request the government through the Ministry of Education and Sports to reconsider opening this college and be lifted to another level to suit the required educational standards of our teachers. This is how we can promote the legacy of Archbishop Janani Rum. If we are really honoring this man and we close his school, what are we doing? So this one should be reconsidered. I make an appeal. If they say this is Janani Rumu's school, the man we are remembering, but it was closed, then we are doing something contradicting. I think this should be really given attention. I, I think that the different government ministries and institutions that have worked in partnership with the Church of Uganda to develop religious tours sites, which include Uganda Matters, Namgongo, Bishop Huntington, Busoga, and now Janani Rum Memorial Sites. I appreciate the Minister of Ethics and Integrity, Minister of Health, Minister of Education and Sports, and the President's Office for your support. We need more partners in developing these places for posterity and the preservation of our Christian heritage. I appeal to all who are grabbing church land to reconsider their actions. This is land dedicated for God's mission. Do not, do not invite God to contend with you. When you steal his land, you are inviting God to fight you. And you did. I charge church leaders also to put to good use our land. And one way is developing these sites to protect it from misuse and abuse. We invite ministries, public and private institutions to take in interest in religious tourism sites and to partner with us in developing them. Uganda National Water and French Corporation, Telecom Companies, Ministry of Education and Sports, Transport, Communication and IT, Tourism, Members of Parliament, Friends of Church of Uganda, join your hands with us in this cause. I want to recognize the work done by the Diocese of Northern Region, Lango, Madi and West Nile, Nebi, Northern Uganda, West Lango, and particularly Chitigum Diocese. I thank Bishop Ch Wilson Chitara and the local organizing team for making sure this event takes place every year and is well organized, as we have seen. Except the, the power, I think uh, power should be given action. I would like to recognize the Lumu family members present today. Thank you very much for always working together with us. We would be glad to see your individual or family contribution towards this project. We recognize the contribution by Chief Justice Owen Doro. Let us appreciate him for his contribution. <laughs> Ambassador Olalotu and leaders in this region in ensuring the legacy of Archbishop Luum continues. We thank you, Chief Justice and Ambassador, for interacting with the House of Bishops on how to plan and develop the Janan Memorial projects. Thank you very much. A follow-up is being done on your recommendation. I want to appreciate Bishop Paul Chipito Masaba of Sebei Diocese for the message shared today. Chikaste Yesu, Chikaste Komon. We must conform to the truth of God's word that transforms. I appreciate the provincial secretary.
Provisa Secretary, Provisa Secretary Reverend Ken William Ongeng, and team from the Provisa Secretariat, would you stand up? All people from the Provisa Secretariat, stand up. Let us appreciate them. They have done a great work. Thank you very, very much. To God be the glory. I want to thank God for each one of you. I thank you all for coming. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord bless Chitukum Dauces and his church everywhere. Let me now take this singular honor to welcome the chief guest to address the congregation. Thank you so, so much. May God's blessings rest upon you. Chief Whip, Eramanoi. Uh, we, <clears throat> we, we can all sit down. Your Grace, the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, Your Grace, the Archbishop of Gulu Archdiocese, my lords, the bishops of the various dioceses here today, our leaders, the honorable ministers who have been introduced and named, our leaders, members of parliament, our leaders, the district chair, the host, Kirgum District and your colleagues who are here, the family, <clears throat> the family of Mata Jana Lohom, and all of us congregation today. Until last night, I was listed as one of the speakers on this occasion, I think in my capacity as a son of this soil. I was, however, sounded and informed that His Excellency would not be able to be with us here today and had asked me, had delegated me to communicate his message to the congregation here and the people of Uganda, which is in a written speech. My Lord Archbishop, for us there actually, we have a saying of the wise that if your responsibility is to carry the spear of the principle of the reward, you carry yours as well. Ne maro tong par reward, meru kimegi. So since I was already listed to make some remarks, I will make those remarks and then conclude with this written speech of the President, which I will uh, present verbatim. My brothers and sisters, we are gathered here today. I've listened to speeches made here. I had part of the homily, the preaching by the Bishop of Sebe. I want to say two things. One, I have attended I don't remember if I've missed any. I've attended all the Jan and Lohom 
Memorial Day since 2016. On these holy grounds of Wigwen, I have seen two miracles. One twice and another one once. The first set of miracles, I think it happened twice, might have been three times, was the halo. Except for this year, ordinarily, February is the hottest month in this part of Uganda. It's hot like fire. When you walk barefoot like we used to do, you feel the heat of the ground. And since I was born, I've always known that the rainbow only appears when there is rain or when there is a sign of an impending rain. But on these holy grounds of Wigwen, I've seen rainbow in bright daylight, not a single cloud, twice. I've never witnessed this in any other function. I've not witnessed it in Namugongo. I've not witnessed it in any function, religious, political, cultural, name it. But I have witnessed it here a couple of times. What does this mean? This is my interpretation. I'm not, I'm not a medium, I'm not a medicine man, I'm not a witch doctor, but I have the common sense to interpret that this is not a chance happening. This is a demonstration of the fact that Saint Janani Lohom, whom some of us still mourn, lives in glory, lives in eternity with the Lord God. This is a sign that we should stop mourning the killing, the martyrdom of Saint Janan Lohom. We should now reflect on his purpose on earth. It was bound to happen, and then we have to look for what was the purpose for the martyrdom. The second miracle, I think it was 2019, if I'm wrong, I will be corrected. Your Grace. Here, the tent where you are was positioned slightly, slightly southeast of where you are. A person I thought was a bishop, um, I was told later he was not, but the leader of the religious team from Koboko was given the podium. He stood up. He addressed the congregation. I am paraphrasing what he said. He said he and his team were here to commemorate the martyrdom of Janani Lohom. He told us all, I was here myself, that Idi Amin, who terminated the life of Janan Lohom, was there own son. They had come to apologize for the killing of Jan and Lohom. They, as the Kakwa people, or the people of West Nile, never sat in a meeting with Idi Amin to kill Jan and Lohom. But nonetheless, because Amin was one of their own, he was here to apologize 
and seek forgiveness. Your grace. I've never seen Bishop Ochoa shedding tears. I saw him shed tears that day. I've never seen Ambassador Laro Tuno shedding tears. I saw him shedding tears and a host of other people. A host of other people who rushed to the team from Koboko, embraced them with love. Those tears were tears of celebration. Those tears were tears of reconciliation. Because a miracle had happened. Oftentimes, we are all proud, arrogant, we wrong people, we do not want to own up. That is the biggest in this country. So that day, the team from Koboko showed us a new direction. A few of us made the resolution that we would reciprocate, travel to West Nile, specifically Koboko, and communicate to the people of Koboko, the Kakwa, and the people of West Nile that from the bottom of our heart, we have forgiven what happened. Because that is what would make Jana Lohom happy in heaven. That was the purpose of the rainbow in bright daylight when there was no rain, there was no cloud. We owe it to the memory of St. Jan and Lohom. We owe it to the future generation of this country. We owe it to our children and grandchildren, whom we have a duty to bequeath a peaceful Uganda that is at peace with itself. Not a troubled Uganda, not a Uganda that is at war, not a Uganda that is at discord with itself. Had it not been for the COVID-19 intervention, the disruption by that killer disease, we would have already gone to West Nile to make peace. Let us not make any pretense. This thing is in our hearts and until we cleanse ourselves of that, we will remain slaves of Satan. We will make Jan and Lohom be at pains, wherever he see, for eternity. I am glad, and I should point this one out, Your Grace. A few of us, I've challenged the Bishop of Langon, who is the senior cleric now here, member of the clergy here. Please, we want to go to West Nile. We want to go to West Nile to make peace. That conversation which the church leadership of Koboko started here is going to be a national movement where we have to talk to one another. We own this country in equal moiety. Nobody owns this country more than you. Doesn't matter whether he's a major general like my good friend, doesn't matter whether he's a judicial officer like Owing Dolo. It doesn't matter whether he's the richest person in Uganda. You own this country in equal moiety with that peasant who eats three meals in a week. This is our country. We speak, we own with authority. So if and my Lord, your grace, if the people of Uganda will embrace the attribute of speaking to one another, 
just having a conversation. What's the problem with our country? What role have I played? How can I do something differently and make a contribution that will collectively make this country a better country than what we see now? If we do this, for me, let me speak for myself. I think in the book of Joshua, Joshua said, he and his house were for the Lord. For me, I speak for myself and my father's house. I am for the people of Uganda speaking frankly, honestly, meaningfully to resolve whatever differences have been and continue to be in this country which we love wholeheartedly. I don't know of any other authority. We are brothers, I agree with the Honorable Minister, for good or for bad, we have been put in this country, a, a colonial project, but we have owned it. I don't know whether there is sense in the alternative. I believe that we have one Uganda, it belongs to all of us. And in this country, you cannot win. You cannot have victors. You cannot have the vanquished. It is all pretense. It is not sustainable. What is sustainable is we all have to exhibit humility. And where we have wronged one another, we should have the courage to stand up and say, oh, on this I was wrong. Please forgive me, mea culpa. There is no attribute better than standing up as I'm saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what I did was wrong. The greater attribute to that is to say, I forgive you wholeheartedly. Two words, two miraculous words. They can change the fortune of a country. They can change the direction of a country. That's the first thing I thought I should use the occasion of the honor of the memory of Jan and Luhum to make. The second one, I will speak mainly in vernacular, but, but let me just say, say in, in abstract. We are a society, the society here, out of a 20 to 25 year war, devastating armed conflict, which ended 18 years ago. We deceived ourselves that peace had come back because we were used to running and sleeping in the bush, in camps, hearing about death every day, death of close ones. So when it ended, we deluded ourselves that peace had come back not knowing that that physical, that easily discernible absence of peace, conflict, compared to the absence of peace that was brought by the deceptive peace was worse than the one we could see and run away from. A devastated society, a society that is now living in self-pity, a society that has nothing to live for and nothing to die for. That paradox. Some of us from here sat down and said, we can't allow this to continue. What are we going to bequeath to our children and grandchildren? We must do something. 
Then the question was, what is that something? We sat down, brainstormed, had discussion in, in, in your part of Uganda, your, your, your Grace Archbishop, you have what you call Lukiko. Now you must thank the, peop the Luo who peacefully uh, intruded into your area. The word Lukiko is a Luo word. You slightly, you slightly corrupted it, but it's a Luo word. The word Keiko in Luo is to indulge in serious, deep, deep, deep deliberation. It is not a conversation, it's not a dispute, but you are really going deep to seek to find out the root cause of whatever the issue is. And that's why you say Lukiko and you say Kukeka. So what we indulged in was in Kikolok. And we came to the resolve that what this part of Uganda needs after all these years of devastation is social revival. We need fundamental revival, fundamental recovery in this place of Uganda. Otherwise, we will continue to live in the pretense, in the lie, in the falsehood that we are all going together as Uganda, in a peaceful Uganda. This place is not, for over, 40, for over 30 years now, it has known no peace. And we have said the primary responsibility is going to lie with us. You say we cannot continue to live in self-pity. We cannot continue to wail, to resign ourselves to this situation. We will not. We will stand up. This catastrophe is not a tragedy. It is a catastrophe. This catastrophe must be confronted in broad daylight and we bring a change to this, our country. And when we take the lead and when we participate, it will be a lot easier for General Tafiri to bring governmental development here. Otherwise, it will come to note. So that movement culminated, the first phase culminated in what is known as the Pong Duomo convocation. We searched our souls, our individual and collective souls, and tasked ourselves as a community. And the war cry is to confront this monster of devastation, which manifests itself in our people doing things which me, old enough to have seen this society before the war, before Idi Amin, I am ashamed. Because then I cannot recognize this society vis-a-vis -vis the society I grew up in. So I've said, the burden is on every one of us. It is incumbent on each one of us. It is not the responsibility of me alone. It's not your responsibility alone. It is our collective responsibility, but we must individually stand up to be counted. So for this, we say it in vernacular, Katiwaro Kape In Chianga. I would translate it Arise. If you don't, 
who will do it? So if I tell Honorable Jima Akena, Omera, Kati Wawo, Kapi In, Chianga, he will instruct himself, Niada, Kapi An, Chianga. Meaning, once you are confronted, if not you, then who? You also say, yes, if not me, then who? Then in our individual and collective pursuit, we will turn around what is seemingly hopeless, which I see. And then we can give glory to God. And in this, the Lord God is with us. There's time for everything. We have wept, we have moaned, but I think this is now the time of work. And for me, who am in government, this is my role. This is peace building. Go and read the book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah. Then you know my role. Go and read that book. How can I enjoy where I am when my people are wallowing in indescribable poverty? There is, I don't know the proper English word to describe the poverty which is here. A once proud society, a proud that stood amongst other tribes in this country, is deep down the abyss. When I see Yubo's report that the, the most poverty-stricken place in Uganda is actually that it is the place where there is no education. There are records, Your Grace. At one point, in terms of level of education per capita, the then Acholi district was at par with the two Mengo districts, East and West Mengo. That's where we were. Now we are not even at the bottom. We are far, we are far away from the bottom. We cannot be seen. So that is the reason why we have this movement. It is not political. Anyone who will join hands with us in this revival movement, you're most welcome. It means the Lord God has whispered to you. Now, allow me to say this in vernacular, then I'll, I'll, I'll deliver the President's speech. Wundu tuwa aberu kawajo kijo ma laba chuelu ma metu tuwa legen pegi ngeyo ngoma watika temone wadu benene tawo ma diru teme iwi kwenkang ngoma leng ngoma rubao goyotaha iye danyo iya chuli yompe nene oro Daniel Kakor Miru Binu Kit Chawani Yet Daniel in Nero No Chin Goyo Kum Kot Chi Nero Daniel Rana Nero Daniel Wan Rio Kain Twantam Badi Dichin Duma Rio Duma Churi Duoni Duma Rara Madir Lira Dada Maka Majwang Itwino Kyo Rom and Machin Udik and Machin Porni no Karupala Bek Karatiako Kiyamo kengo, cha neno tao eno ne, tao me ariyo maneno ye luti dene magi ake gang pa idia mienge, gubiru kain mwalifu ariyo kia pa wia bongwen, chela dir cha uloko, wani gen gubiru, gubiru kakuwa yuki da butu wun muti ka winyo lokane, pendana loom latino. Ida mien nu ben latin ge, gen kakwa, gen jo me West Nile, pegi beru ping kamin ni chirinek dano. Ento komap enu ne pauti mane amin latin ge. Iki chikwa me te kwaro, ma beru te kanye. Ka latin nu te mubal, yu don kuri tango chi. Si gen ku beru ka tango chi ngi, ni wajar logo, wawere watem kida. Inirunu inu ya nero diruwa 
ma bisho buchola tele giyo o chero ka kwa ko jone ke ba ma pigwangi o dia ko penyo cha no ni jana luum ke ka temotao ino ne petimme ka in pela ten paro ba lo ke no pe kwile itwin jone se wa wado benani ka jana luum che ka wado ne gitem ke ga man ben wa wa e a Nene cha karma wa kwero neno pa bishop chola abaje ne la dit bishop kanero maro ba obiru wa chile ne de meru lwonge me dog dong bore chi wa chene ati kiti ta rio mami rati me achiel dog me pong duon ma bera bi lo e kubeni dong me pong duon ke mira nem ni gidiro wa o ka mange ni dong pe do kingi me ario me rutelwa uchwalwa ubeshnali gang pa idia menge me wacho ne jana lo umu wacho ne watim kija ki idia men watim kija po bet ki luor komwa wan lok eno ne dong pe twinwa pe man ki madong la dit do te ge wan wan lego bishop melao ti kan la dit alfredo lua Oh bishop lok chani talwa lok lo wore wa ma mer chere west nile metie ni lok ma wuno chere wa igangwa ikin me africa ikin romandano wa no biru kan me wa chi wu di lok ene dong pe chi no wa te mo keda wa che ko ko ne a chiel di ti no wa pe dog gule gin mo te ma gin pe gin e yo lok eno ni tie ba jo bene kan eno ma chiru eno ni tie kwanan na rachiel ma be wor ke la dite kwan in bene ni ri ben nga rachiel ke ne ro waru be chiru ba mi a chiel me nyu tu no ba te mo ke da gin ba dong be yo mo chin la cha den ramo jana lo ma lo eno pere ke no ba tie tu pa la chwe kita la chwe di ke re chwe nda ro eno ni bi beru bene dong a chaki ni jo me uganda ku a re long ni a lueno a bo yo nga tero a ra tera lo yo nga ti in pero mu bo no meru e bo la bo la eno ni ye bi we ku wandong wo ba no ni ku ere ma do ki chiri ye ka yo bo wa ka ma tu pu Meroni dok medira dada cha meyo legana bonu diru dine gen go telo wa yo wan wa bichero wegle te na mana nyaro ne ke wan yamu biti mekiti ero ke nen ke maru ba be kwere ro ba ba ko loki dong pe twi wa wati de ko manya lok me ario wonu twa lok me pong duo lok me racho pa jo Babi waju jammi alib ki alib ma chweru twin ba to twal chweru twini kai neno gangwa to twal jo magi nwaro gi ma ko pira bit ki wiye pira ngwen ki wiye ma ko nena chuli unero deu ka chuli unero be pa be ra chuli ma lu rok waju ni pingo ma ma na po gere ya chuli we ki nwala ya chuli ma lu rok ka ubiru la lo ko kain yana chuli gabu inno ko bay do ga chuli a chuli en ni dong pere le ra de da je mo ba dong tembe yam yam pe wa le ko ni tembe chu we ko wo be ru ping wo be ru ka ke ko lo ke ni wi na wa do bor is grace ka ke ko lo ni no le matut yo wa ne wang bo pe ke we ko lo ang ye lo ni ke re wo be lo en ni kom pe ko ni en ma u gu e ko ma chuli en tamne ganga chuli dong ganga ne wa bi belo ko no wa temu wan duju ka chiel no ini kati ka temu maka migi pe man wa be ro pene pong duon wa mo ko mo do ka ka chiel chiel me ya chuli do pa jo ka ti ka do ro pa jo lo tela weng me ya chuli 
Maka yera yera. Mala tuwe dudui katiche. Madaru winu luki. Wado kupado katiche. Meyo bupado. Yube. Begi na buwewa. Kawa PM. Kawa yete. Kawa kwanu kuot ketong. Iko merokene. Peberi cheng yuru. No pere ya chole. No iri PM ni. Iwacha ni. La dilo windolo. Kape iem changa. Chana wajo ni kumlok eno. Kape am changa. An beda aduwa utumburi. Ni. Adoj. Kape iem changa. Adoj bena gama ni kumlok eno mera. Kape am changa. Dwen in ni wan weng. Wan weng. Cheng peporo. Nodong bela kikena. No ki jira ki kene ya chule. Timme. Timme. Ape ka kala kala. Kangan moti ka kala kala. Ngeri nge ni. Ki nge pong pong. Wano duo ton ka beru ma pol. Jo me karame ki kodama. Gulu hawa. Wano ko ket ki ki chim. Madaro gore mo pong di bim. La chen wo bini pora. Maruot ma pora du hawa. Wano ko kilwak me karame pol me pora. Wachere lero paluo. Walogo. Kekara makaru piyar bisi elwiyo. Ilero paluo. Beti hete gitid mamir genu ti. Wakwa aro kichoro. Wa aro kedaba. Dere en mana te kaloke. Mapen maru dere ne. Wati yumiya nyema. Kaloke lo tuwa. Do dero kara. Kairi tje kekari. Chiri win. Wakwa nyam lo. Kone. Kah loka loka pe, wan waktu ye kah lok, wan kau mera madir, ambassador laru tu nu, i radio mai tu fire, ni ru duduk i kubu ki radio mo kene weng, lomba walau kah no radio mo kene teka korban e wau, kediri me winyone, i komblok mana loka daru piara rio, gua keno adik mo ma bikunyi, kedi kue rapa wea bero, adik mo nubu kunyi ne, no bero dada, er ma piara tek, wa pm ke kenyu, wa kate wau. Inge umi anjema wano ulok wando pajule utwalo ulok gemerua wabeti rukono mando beni mewa ni wana churi weng wuyobeke gangu doka kama popo rubin kachiel utwalo luo rupano bin kanya mulok kake kulok yomene mawa ramu kwa nyu pero ine kike kike pato wana chule pedo uko ubepin Beka wunu beru kachiel, ma peka kachiel keken. Pena chule lai, kake luon waka kachiel keken chepe wati yako. Mando duru ma wachwa lubotu. Titupe megwa, wan melo telwi utole. Wan lo odwe, we take de oro kodong, de wako mone dong lelo, chwa dong gama gama. Engin maru dong ya chule eno. Pwe mateka dada, tichi tichi wan watu yaro, apeka kala kala. Uh, Your Grace, let me now read verbatim the speech His Excellency would have personally delivered here today, but he's not been able, but has delegated me to do so. Your Grace, the Archbishop of Church of Uganda, the Most Reverend Stephen Samuel Kazimba Mugalu, Honorable Ministers, Honorable Members of Parliament, all bishops present, the clergy, all distinguished people gathered here today, ladies and gentlemen. I take this opportunity to welcome you all to the 47th anniversary commemoration service in honor of the late Bishop Janan Luhum, the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, and Bogas Zahir. Today, we pay tribute to an icon who stood for truth, justice, faith, and respect of human rights in Uganda and beyond. Archbishop Luhum was a leading figure in the criticism of the excesses of the Idi Amin regime. In 1977, he delivered a note to Idi Amin, protesting against the policies of unjustified killings 
and unexplained disappearances. On 16 February 1977, Duhum and two cabinet ministers were arrested, accused of treason and planning a coup. It was then announced that all the three were killed in a car crash caused by the victims trying to overpower the driver. Today, we are gathered here to remember and celebrate the legacy of a man who did not relent on what he believed was right, and he ended up paying the ultimate price. The Christian faith is built on the foundation of sacrifice and self-denial in working for God's kingdom. The commitment and the endurance of the late Archbishop John and Lohom to risk his life for the sake of the gospel has helped to plant the kingdom of God in the hearts of men and women across the globe. He had a heart for a just society. He made it his business to confront the injustice and atrocities of Amin. He made this criticism public. The late Archbishop Lohum never wanted to live in peace elsewhere in the world while his people suffered in Uganda. At the height of the extrajudicial killings, it is reported that the British contacted him and were ready to take him away from Uganda, but he refused to run away. He is quoted to have said, open quote, if I, the shepherd, flee, what will happen to the flock? I am not afraid. In all this, I see the hand of God. Close quote. Janane showed great courage in the face of death. In the book of Psalms, chapter 23, verse 4, it says, open quote, Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Close quote. As you are all aware, the Christian faith brought new understanding to our society. The new concept was that even when we die, it is not the end of the story, that there will be life afterwards, resurrection. That was one very valuable revelation to our lives. Today, we are proud to say Uganda is a free country where freedom of worship is a right and enjoyable to all. The NRM restored the dignity, integrity, and freedom of worship for the people of Uganda. Almost all our children go to school. Our people travel to every corner of the nation in safety and on modern roads. And our nation contributes to the peace and stability of the greater East African region, thanks to the work of the National Resistance Movement leadership. We believe that a nation which stands on the core values of godliness is the one that empowers her people to claim their place in the world. Since 1986, we've been struggling with economic recovery, expansion, diversification, and transformation. Although the country has been faced with economic shocks, household businesses have responded positively to government investment in infrastructure and the various wealth creation initiatives. This means that the government's effort to create wealth at household level is taking root. We are registering progress in the initiatives that we created to help elevate our people and eradicate poverty from households. In our manifesto of 2021 to 2026, the NRM promised to use the Parish Development Model, PDM, as the strategy to reach the home states that are still in subsistence economy to support them to join the money economy. I'm glad 
that the PDM program has succeeded in bringing down the households outside the money economy from 68% to the present figure of 39%. I still call upon you all to continue our resolute in the fight against corruption by ensuring transparency, accountability, and anti-corruption measures across government systems. I would like to thank the people of Kitgum for working hard to rebuild your area after devastation and disruption by war. <coughs> government will continue to work for maintenance of peace in the whole of Uganda and also put the necessary infrastructure in place as a way of facilitating the country's development. I call upon you all to embrace peace, tolerance, forgiveness, and reconciliation for the betterment of our nation. I thank the family for keeping the memory of Jan and Lohom alive. Finally, I wish to thank Your Grace the Archbishop the Most Reverend Stephen Samuel Kazimba Mugalo for the invitation you accorded me to grace this auspicious occasion today. May Loom's exemplary life continue to inspire and challenge all of us to make the world a better place. I wish you God's blessing. Thank you. So that is His Excellency's uh, message to the, to, to the people of Uganda and the people gathered here. Uh, one other thing, Amir, Amir Wadoki, one more thing and when, Amir Apuo, His Grace Archbishop of the Church of Uganda. Genachen Mutemo, Munyuru Twin Maleng, Mawan Wangeyo, Ayeme Mokone, Kimi Chung, Matek Mapo Dire, Ni Ork, Madip, Mati Kampala Road, Burmukeriti, William Street, Nye Udong, Janani, Dohom Church House. The report of the Dutch. Can you look at the ticket on my part? Your Grace, I'm sure you followed my law. I'm not going to say it in English. I know you followed it. Thank you. May God bless all of you. Round of applause. A round of applause to His Excellency and his delegate. Thank you. Ban. In the reverse order, one stanza each, please. Thank you for coming. The Lord bless you.
very good afternoon to your to UBC TV. We thank you so much for watching. My name is Michael Jordan Lokoma, and we are here coming to you live Trini, where we have been giving you a live coverage of the 47th commemoration and celebration of the life and service and all the works of the late Archbishop Janan Jakalia Luwum who was killed during the reign of President Idi Amin, that is between 1971 and 1979. Archbishop Jakalia Luwum was the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi and Boga Zaire. That is how big it was then. And according to the information available, uh, his death was a result of cautioning the government questioning government and advising government on issues related to human rights and good governance. So he faced his death under the watch of President Idi Amin and every 16th of February, Uganda remembers, commemorates and celebrates his life and works. He was buried just here uh, on St. Paul's Church uh, with his wife Mary and that's where he is lying and the Church of Uganda and the government of Uganda and the people and Uganda in general gather here to celebrate him. That is what we had today here. Gwatulaba Kuswa TV, Tubade Tukutusa Ako Kuva Kumacha Omukoro Ogoku Jukirobu Lamu Nemirimu Eriyo Mugenzi Archbishop Janan Jakali Yaluwum Onigo Kubo Itamukampa No Rugu Doluwum Street Neiru Waburu Wamu Musa Joyo Archbishop Janan Jakali Yaluwum Eyatiwa Kumulembe Gwa President Ida Amin Ngayatiwa Waku Waburu Wakubuza Bibuzo no kunyo nyola bichi government biekola no kusaba ebitereze bwemu so today we have been having uh, ministers mps and dignitaries here led by the archbishop of the church of uganda archbishop uh, uh, his grace uh, dr stephen samuel kazemba mugalu and a number of clergy so many bishops from all over uganda were here to celebrate that uh, forefather of theirs they were also having among them uh, a canon of the Church of Uganda, that is uh, former Chief Justice uh, Wako. Uh, yes, Wako, uh, former Chief Justice uh, Odochi. So, uh, former Chief Justice, I remember the name, but he's also here with them. Then the Honorable Hilary Onek, the Honorable uh, Kuyuchini Peace, and then the Chief Justice who has read the speech of the President, and as well the Honorable Major General. Kahinda Otafira, Minister for Internal Affairs. They delivered speeches. The President's speech was to emphasize peace and what peace comes with. According to the President, peace comes with development and transformation. That is how I can summarize his peace. Then, the, uh, uh, the Chief Justice emphasized how there is more need to emphasize and enhance the development programs of northern Uganda in general, but particularly our Chowli subregion, and then unity in Uganda. He even gave a story of one bishop from Koboko who came and attended one of the celebration events of the Janan Luumde, and he suggested that as the people of Kakwa community, they had to apologize for what their son Idi Amin did uh, to kill the Archbishop. And he said, this was a message of reconciliation and the people of Acholi will have to take it and one day maybe talk to the people and hug the people of Kakwa community to ensure that that kind of reconciliation is ensured. That was in the message of the Archbishop. Then General Otafide said he made an observation of how Amin handled Uganda and issues of governance and he wondered because he said the, the, the Bible says all leaders are made by God. So in his view, he wondered, basing on the observations that he made about the Amin's regime, he wondered whether it is God that also made Idi Amin. Basing on that, he asked Ugandans to value their vote, drop excitement, and vote with caution and care, such that they don't make themselves other Amin's. That was in the message of uh, General Otafide. And the other speech was of the Archbishop. Besides the homily, he had an address at the end of uh, the whole event and the service. And in his message, what I picked most, he has appealed to government to reconsider reopening and reactivating um, the, tech, uh, the teachers training college. 
where Archbishop Janan Luwum was trained as a teacher because remember he trained as a teacher he became a teacher he went back he became a trainer of teachers until he dropped it and joined uh, uh, the, 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 the the training for clergy he became uh, a lay reader a reverend until he became a bishop and now archbishop so archbishop um, the current archbishop Samuel Stephen Kazimba Mugalu has appealed to government uh, to reactivate and reopen the training teachers training college where Archbishop Janan Luwum was trained because he says if we are remembering the man let's have all the roots of his legacy brought back to life that is the kind of uh, speeches that we had we had a very beautiful choir here I think there are a number of them the school children and so many other people that came to grace the event Katono nyo Muruganda tubade na abebiti wabanji na speech zibade za amanyi zibade satu ya Archbishop Kazimba Mugalu nga chinene nyo muzo muyo chimu kubinene nyo chibade ayagala government ya ambeko kuzao teachers training school janan luumwe ya somero musomesa kubanga Archbishop janan luumu ya soka kuba musomesa Ira na asomesa, na mana dayo na afuko mwa ule, na asomesa, asomesa, paka lo ya afuko Archbishop. So, Archbishop Kazimba Mugolu agamba, nti government ayaga leveyo, ezewo, etende kererio, ngabo etuli mkujukila omsa jono, muzira ajanan luum. Then, Chief Justice uh, Winyi Dolo, ayaga la egwanga okunye kiza emirembe, no kuongira obumu, no kusonyi wagana, no kutuwa legwanga mumaso. Na dalambi tundu ini vya mamuga. E, Yabade message ya Archbishop, ya uh, abege pardon, message ya Chief Justice, uh, Owinyi Dolo. Then General Tafide, agame ntubwa soma Bible, ila ganti katonda ya akola, ila ya azimba wa kulembeze. Na yeti ntubwa tundu ya wikolo vya Idi Amin, yeye unya, ntine Idi Amin katonda ya liya mutonda ngomu kulembeze. Na wechi tasaweba na Uganda, okutunulide nyaka lulu kaa webuli mulonzi. Abele mwe gendeleza, ntiba na Uganda, webata abele careful, webata abele gendeleza, bainzo kweto ndeda wa idi amini, o mulala, ebade eh, message ya general otafile. Then, mububako kwa president, obuso medua, sawa la muzo winyi dolo, president, ayagala kunye kiza mirembe, no kutuwa ala, o winyi, uh, jaka, janan luumu. Okuongero kumutu alange chokula bidako echama nyenyo Mubiyo nabe tuko la nadala Aweleze guanga kumutende la ugenja ulo So, watu wetu bade wano Emu chwini mu Kitgum District Kitgum District ya muku mitundwe viko la acholi Wano mumambuka ga Uganda So, watu wetu bade Tuko wazo kubela nchi wabade yongu ulawa Kukade kano Kade ka kuabuka Awa kule mbeze, awa singa bali mkuvao nga bula ba Na yeba chafu na bifana nyo wane yawamu We thank you so much for having been there to watch That is all we had for you in as far as The Janan Luwumu Day 2024 is concerned My name is Michael Jordan Lukoma At this point, it's time for departure I can see the Archbishop and his entourage uh, Being seen off and other government dignitaries also being seen off. We thank you so much for watching. That is all we had for you today. My name is Michael Jordan Lukoma with the whole team here. We wish you the best of the weekend. Bye bye. of the day on UBC one on one with Michael Jordan Lukomwa a weekly face to face conversation focusing on accountability inspiration information and sensitization of the public from the various sources such as inspirational profiles having a disability is not inability every friday 9 pm it's one on one with Michael Jordan Lukomwa don't you see anywhere that you would give a credit in the fight against covid my role as the owner of the country is not to you know be preoccupied by giving credit to my server we have said that if we are to talk to uh, genome 70 there must be some